Have you ever wondered how Bitcoin came to be? How did it all start? Well, let's take a trip down memory lane and explore the fascinating story behind the creation of world first cryptocurrency. That all began on October 31st, 2008, when an anonymous person or group of people using the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto uploaded a white paper to a mailing list of cryptographers. This white paper outlined the concept of Bitcoin and its unique features as a decentralized digital currency. In this groundbreaking document, Satoshi described a system that was 100% peer-to-peer, eliminating the need for a trusted third party to facilitate transactions. He also addressed the issue of double spending, proposing a solution that would ensure the integrity of the network. Uh, to bring his vision to life, uh, Satoshi drew inspiration from uh, the works of other notable figures in the field of cryptography. Two individuals who played a significant role in uh, shaping Satoshi's ideas were Adam Back and Wei Guy. What? Adam Back, a renowned cryptographer, had developed a system called Hashcash, which utilized a proof of work mechanism. Satoshi incorporated this concept into Bitcoin, using it as a means to validate the transactions and mine new coins. Wei Guy, on the other hand, had proposed a similar concept called B Money which also relied on a proof-of-work protocol. Satoshi acknowledged Dai's work and even cited his B-Money in a white paper and the Bitcoin white paper. With the pieces coming together, Satoshi was able to create uh, something that many had only dreamed of, a decentralized cash system that could revolutionize the way we transact. In January uh, 2009, the first ever Bitcoin block, known as the Genesis block, was mined. Uh, marking the birth of the Bitcoin network. Uh, since then, Bitcoin has grown in popularity and gained mass adoption. Its white paper provided hope to many during the time of financial crisis, offering an alternative means of storing value and transacting without relying on traditional financial institutions. Uh, today, Bitcoin continues to serve its purpose, uh, empowering individuals to take control of their finances and transact freely. Uh, its potential has even caught the attention of influential figures like Larry Fink, uh, the, the CEO uh, of BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world. Uh, uh, so the next time you use Bitcoin or hear about its impact on the world, remember the incredible journey it took to get here. And as Satoshi Nakamoto once we said, why did the Bitcoin cross the road? to disrupt the traditional financial system. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, by that means, CCC.